हेलो एवरीवन आई शेफ संतोष मालकोटी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट चितकारा स्कूल ऑफ हॉस्पिटैलिटी पंजाब कैंपस वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस सेशन इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सम ऑफ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट शाकुत्री प्रोडक्ट्स लाइक क्वेनल्स पार्फेज एंड रुलाड विच डिमांड्स आर शेफ टू बी हाईली स्किल्ड and in today's session you are going to learn about one of the prime responsibility of guard manger that is the beautification of buffets using non edible displays which is also a highly skilled nature job by the end of the session you should be able to describe non edible displays and elaborate the various types of non edible displays so let's start Although food holds the spotlight in all buffet presentation and the objective of buffet planning must be to achieve visual beauty both in the artistic presentation of each item of edible food and in the arrangement of many dishes on the buffet table nothing heightens the beauty of the buffet more than an outstanding centerpiece or piece monte made of ice tallow or such other materials the term non edible is used to indicate that the centerpiece is not meant for consumption along with the rest of the food on the buffet the guest should be able to identify the theme of the buffet at a glance just by observing the non edible decorations that provide eye catching background for the presentation a non edible decorative display piece should be a work of art whether the figure is made of ice sugar tallow or any other material the non edible displays can be broadly categorized as artistic display and food display artistic displays are particularly those non edible displays which are of highly skilled nature the chef can exhibit his talent by converting an ice block to a center of attraction for a buffet similarly fruits or vegetables can be carved and transformed into a piece monte or centerpiece the ice sculpture is the highlight of any buffet the artistic touch the focal point ice can be carved in any shape size or figure that fits the theme of or occasion for example for a christmas theme there could be a santa claus for an anniversary a heart can be there uh, there are some essentials of ice carving which are as follows uh, the ice block should be of at least 100 to 300 pounds and the dimension should be like 40 inches height 20 inches width and 10 inches thick so this is the ideal size for an ice block for the ice carving uh appropriate tools and equipments must be used for ice carving the ideal temperature is uh, 28 degree fahrenheit for ice carving be sure to draw the temper template accurately if a piece of ice breaks off dip it each broken edge into salt and press pieces back together for a few minute the broken pieces will freeze together and hold This slide explains the various tools and equipments which are being used for ice carving. Uh, an ice pick is an equipment which helps to split the block of ice into smaller pieces. Chisels uh, are generally long-handed hand tool uh, with beveled cutting edges and a handle which is generally used for cutting the blocks to desired shape. a hand saw used to remove large cuts of ice or to make rough outlines uh, it can be electric also a pair of ice tong is generally used for moving big uh, ice blocks from one place to another place an ice shaver with three or six prongs used to curve out the details and do the small cutting on the block of ice a good pair of gloves which have metal fingertips to prevent accidents a template made on graph paper is must and uh, 
salt is also used for broken pieces of ice if required tallow display it is always desirable to select a tallow display piece that may also fit into the decor theme of other buffets at later dates creating an eye catching tallow piece is always time consuming and should be planned well in advance a french restaurant serving a french buffet would add effectiveness to the presentation by displaying a burst of napoleon or escoffier or the eiffel tower such displays can be used over and over but they should be covered with transparent wraps when not in use as dust tends to stick to them generally a formula made up of equal quantities of bees wax paraffin and beef fat works well in a tallow display a solid structure and base for the tallow piece must be created using wood styrofoam or aluminum foil and then the formula can be applied to create the structure butter carving very often in place of tallow butter and margarine is used to produce center pieces margarine is preferred medium as it has a higher melting point and is and is easier to handle than butter an outline of the sculpture is made out of suitable stiff materials such as a wire piece aluminum foil and strips of wood this is called the armature and the butter or margarine is molded around it to give the desired shape ideally the work should be carried out in a cool environment such as an air conditioned room the advantage here is that the sculpture can be redone if it does not have the desired effect and restarted also tallow butter and margarine sculpture can have a reusable value unlike ice carvings however care should be taken to in storing these pieces as they tend to attract dirt and dust which will cling and be difficult to remove without damaging the structure very often a protective cling film uh, can be wrapped around the sculpture during storage saltage is a cooked thick paste or dough made up of cornstarch popcorn salt and water it can be rolled into thin sheets and applied over the solid base or armature to get the desired shape once dried it can be colored or dust with herbs and spices pastillage a thick sugar paste similar to gum paste that can be molded into different shapes and forms when dried it is hard and brittle unlike gum paste pastillage dries much quicker and stronger made with gelatin water and ice icing sugar it hardens quickly and can only be shaped or molded for a short while by hand fruit and vegetable carving very attractive center pieces can be made by carving various shapes out of fruits and vegetables large pumpkins melons and uh, similar vegetables can be used as containers or carved into objects such as boats and ships the variety in color of vegetables and fruits adds a lot to the eye appeal and the presentation of the center piece care should be taken not to use non food items such as pins staple staples uh, toothpicks drawing pins to hold the arrangement in place water can be sprayed so that the arrangement looks as fresh as possible food displays are basically the arrangement of food items used as centerpiece on buffet counter or live counter the prime motive of food display is to heighten the beauty of the buffet in comparison to artistic displays food displays requires less skill but the chef should have good understanding of art so as to create an environment that fits the theme some of the examples of food displays can be uh, like pasta display for a pasta live counter or spice display near an indian buffet or indian specialty restaurant 
this is all in the session hope you must have got uh, an idea about the non edible displays and uh, in the upcoming session uh, you will learn about appetizer and garnishes thanks for watching stay safe